Hello everyone. So in this video, let us uh, talk about something in really interesting, especially for those people who are new, uh, or I should say, in their journey towards uh, Jira deployment. They uh, want to, of course, roll out Jira, or maybe they want to make Jira roll out a success story. You might be wondering, what exactly is the definition of rollout? Is it like some one big event or is it something that you do over the period of time now from my experience there is no clear definition of rollout uh, and especially in case of jira uh, the definition of rollout could be a day when uh, you want your teams to start using jira instead of some other tool that definition could be a day when uh, you have everyone in your in your organization uh, using Jira, not the other tool. Now, usually, usually, not always, usually Jira rollout is not just one event. It is basically something that ho that happens over the period of time. And uh, and, and especially when uh, there is a, there, there, especially when there, there is an organization who is already using some of the tools, they already have some processes, they cannot just stop everything that they're doing on day one and move to a new tool or Jira in this case. Now, when people move to Jira, I mean, and I'm talking about covering all the cases where you have trained your users, you have also make, made sure that they have all the access, they know how to do stuff in Jira, they are familiar with the, the way uh, you want them to work. I'm talking about you know the, the processes that you define. Now, the thing is, when it comes to uh, rollouts, usually it is... Uh, something that you want to do gradually. And as a Jira consultant, as a Jira admin, don't really say to your client or your potential client that yes, by this date, you will start using Jira. That rarely happens. Uh, sometimes you will be, because usually when you're dealing with the, uh, I think there is also a problem when it comes to uh, who you deal with. Now, if, if you're a Jira consultant and if you're dealing with someone from procurement team, they have absolutely uh, they have absolutely no idea about how Jira works. They probably did some research online by looking at some common things that a tool should do, and then they give you a questionnaire and they ask you to fill it up, and they will ask you maybe by when they can start using Jira. Now, using Jira is not just installing it or signing up on Jira Cloud because you can do that if you're on Jira Cloud. Then you can do that uh, 